Welcome learners to Form 2 Chemistry. Uh, my name is Teacher Jean. Today I would like to uh, teach you a song of Valency. We call it Valency song with my students. Uh, it will help you to remember the, the elements and also the radicals and their corresponding valencies. So here we go, Lana. We sing it this way. Sodium, potassium, nitrogen, chlorine, fluorine, hydrogen, valency one metals, enan metals, valency one metals, enan metals, calcium, barium, magnesium, zinc, iron, lead, copper. Oxygen, oxygen and sulfur, valency two, oxygen and sulfur, valency two. Aluminium and ion, nitrogen, phosphorus, phosphorus, valency three metals, and metals, valency three metals and metals we go to the one for radicals ammonia manage for hydroxide oh nitrate no3 hydrogen carbonate hco 3 hydrogen sulfate hso for valency one radicals Carbonate CO3, sulfate SO4, sulfite SO3, valency to radicals. Phosphate PO4, PO4, phosphate PO4, valency 3 radicals. Learners, I know you can clap for me, I've tried. Anyway, the, uh, this is the, these are the valences of some common elements and radicals. Go and practice on that song, Lana, so that you'll be able to write chemical formula of compounds. So, Lana, there are two clarifications that I want to make about the radicals. One, all these radicals, all these radicals, Lana, I hope you can see them clearly, are negatively charged, negatively charged, except ammonium radical, which is positively charged. It has a charge of positive one up there. That is point number one. All of them are negatively charged, uh, except ammonium radical. Number two, Lana, the valency, the valency of each uh, uh, radical, uh, of each radical here, is equal to the charge. For example, the valency, or I can go about it this way, let me write it here. If you have phosphate, phosphate we have sung PO4, we have sung it as PO4, it is negatively charged. Its valency is 3, phosphate has a valency of 3, so it is the same as the charge. You can just come and fix it here so that you write it as PO4, 3, negative. The same case applies to something like carbonate. We have uh, sun carbonate as CO3, but it has a negative charge, and then the valency of carbonate is 2, so you come and fix it here. So, carbonate radical is CO3, 2 negative. Finally, ammonium radical, we have uh, sung it as NH4. So it has a charge and the charge is positive. Then the, its valency is one. That is what we are meant to come and write here. So the valency is equals to the charge. We are meant to write one here, although we don't normally write it. We don't write one plus, we just write a plus, okay? That is that line. So now I want us to practice on how to write chemical uh, formula of some compounds here, Lana. 
For example, how do you write the formula of sodium sulfate lana? You need to know the symbols of these uh, elements and also the radicals. So sodium sulfate, uh -huh. sodium symbol is Na lana, Na. Sulfate from our song, we have sung it as S O four, like that lana. In the meantime, ignore the charges. Ignore the charges because they are equals to the valency. So go to the valency now. The valency of sodium, we have said it is one. The valency of sulfate radical is two from our song, Lana, remember? Then from there, we interchange the valencies like that, okay? So sodium goes with a two, you write it N, A, two, fix your two down here. Then sulfate radical takes one. You come and write SO4. SO4. You don't need to write a one here. So you ignore that one. Then we go to calcium nitrate, Lana. Calcium nitrate. Calcium, the symbol is CA, Lana. Nitrate from our song is NO3. NO3. Ignore the charges, Lana, in the meantime. So, calcium, we have sung that the valence is 2, nitrate, the valence is 1. Interchange, Lana. Uh -huh. So, calcium goes with 1, calcium element goes with 1. You don't need to write this one here, just leave it like that. Nitrate radical takes 2. Nitrate radical, Lana, takes 2. If a radical takes more than 1, that is, it takes two, three, four, and so on and so forth. You put it inside a bracket. If it takes more than one variance, like now it has taken two, make sure you put it in bracket and then you come and write the two here or the number there. I hope you have got it right. We go to ammonium phosphate lana. Ammonium is a radical. We have said that it is NH4, although it normally has a charge, they are positive. Phosphate, we have sung in the valency song. Master that song, Lana, it will help you. We have said it is pure 4. We know the charge is 3 negative. Ignore it in the meantime. So, valency is 1 of ammonium. Valency here is 3 for phosphate. Interchange, Lana. Ammonium is a radical and it is taking 3. Okay? So, we put it inside brackets. If a radical takes, sorry, this is four. If a radical takes more than one, put it in bracket, then come and fix your number here, three. So ammonium goes with three, put it inside the bracket. Remember, most of the students fail at that point. Take care of this. So rad phosphate takes one, so you just write it like that. So that is the formula of ammonium phosphate. Calcium hydrogen carbonate lana, it has calcium and hydrogen carbonate part. So calcium is Ca, hydrogen carbonate is C, a HCO3. Again, the valency here is 2. The valency for hydrogen carbonate is 1, lana. Interchange. So calcium takes 1. Hydrogen carbonate is a radical and it takes 2. More than 1, it takes 2. So you put it inside a bracket like that. And then you fix your two there. Good. There we are. We have another one here, Lana. Copper 2. Copper 2 hydroxide. What is this 2, Lana? Which is inside the bracket. This Roman number 2 refers to the valency of the element that comes before it. So it is the valency for copper. Put that in mind. This is the valency for the element that comes before it. So copper is Cu, okay, hydroxide is OH, lana. Valency for copper therefore is 2, hydroxide is 1, interchange like that. So copper takes 1, you don't need to write a 1 there. Hydroxide is a radical, it is taking 2, so fix it in brackets, lana, like that. And therefore that is the formula of uh, copper 2 hydroxide. Uh -huh. We do one or two more, Lana. Iron 3, iron 3, iron 3 oxide. It is a compound of iron and oxygen. Uh -huh. This refers to the valency of 
ion again so ion symbol is fe okay uh huh and it is a compound of iron and oxygen so oxygen you come and write over there valency for iron is this lana three valency for oxygen from our song is two interchange look at that lana you get fe taking two and o taking three and that is the formula of I am three, uh, I am three oxide. We go to zinc sulfate, Lana. Zinc is Zn. Uh -huh. Sulfate is SO4. Valency for zinc from that valency song, Lana, is two. Sulfate is two. What do you do here? You reduce these numbers by two, one. By two, that is dividing by two, one. So you get one, one. Interchange. Zinc takes one. You don't need to write it here. Sulfate again is one. That is the formula for zinc sulfate. We go to calcium phosphate learner. Calcium is Ca. Phosphate is PO4. We said ignore the charges first learner. So calcium valency two. Phosphate valency three. Inter change so ca element takes three so c3 mm -hmm, like that po4 is a radical lana po4 is a radical and it takes two so you put brackets like that if a radical takes more than one that is if it takes valency two three four like that you put it inside the bracket and you write your two there. Uh -huh. Five, we are almost at the end. Aluminium oxide is a, a compound of aluminium and oxygen. Aluminium is Al, oxygen is O. Valency here, Lana, is three. Valency here is two. Again, interchange. So Al2O3. Good. Finally, Lana, we come to carbon four oxide gas. How do you write the formula? Remember, this four refers to the valency of carbon. Carbon is C, oxygen is O. Valency here is four, valency here is two. Okay? Reduce or simplify this. Divide by two, one. Divide by two, two. Interchange, Lana. So you get C is one. O2. Look at that. This is the formula of carbon four oxide gas. So learners, go and practice on this valency song. It helps you to write uh, the correct chemical formula. Master the symbols. Master the valencies using this song here so that you can be able to write the correct chemical formula. All the best learners as you practice on the song and also how to write chemical formula. God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. God bless you.